Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another Path to Glory Friday in FIFA 23. Path to Glory Team 2 is here today. We are going to have a second team of these cards in packs. But I want to take a look through what is going down today on this game because we have new World Cup heroes that are going to be in packs today. I'll talk about these other heroes that have been in packs this week that are going out of packs and discuss that situation and of course we have to talk about fifa world cup swaps because everybody's favorite fodder pack that is 20 tokens might be attainable as soon as today depending on how many swap tokens ea release in objectives so we're going to talk all of that look at some leaks and of course talk about the market because prices are continuing to fluctuate everywhere and depending on how hyped the content is today could it mean that some prices rise up further into the night tonight as there's weekend league demand and as people are wanting to play weekend league and the content maybe isn't that great we'll talk through that in the video today so if you're excited for today hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's start by looking at the biggest question is of today what is going to be in packs now you might not remember these leaks because they were so long ago and the leaks that we first saw when we started to get path the glory leaks were actually team two cars that were leaked first right remember the Nkunku, remember the kyle walker remember the carrasco these are some pretty big cards some pretty big names but is it as hype as team number one that is leaving packs today that's the question we're gonna have to ask as we find out maybe some more leaks about what is coming into packs today of course in kunku kyle walker those are some really big names that's really hyped. Some other names that we have had released, right? Chucky Lozano. That's a, a pretty pacey card that really plays into the explosive meta. Christian Pulisic, finally a USA player. We're still missing an Argentina player to represent that nation. And that's the story of today as well. We need to get some more Path to Glory items to kind of cover the other nations that are not represented yet with a Path to Glory live card. So Pulisic, Walker, Bruno Gimares. That's a card people will be excited about today for sure. Carrasco. And Kunku, of course, Milinkovic Savic, and Marco Royce. As of right now, those are the leaked cards that we have that are supposed to be in team number two. I would expect, as Sheriff said in this tweet, he said they are now confirmed. More names coming in the morning. Well, that's today on Friday. I also don't know if he already has the leaks and is not posting them yet until today on Friday or if he just knows he's going to be getting them in the morning because that's when EA would be like adding them into the game or whatever it is little bit sus but it is what it is watch out for leaks today for team two players in the path to glory promo now also what we'll be looking out for today with leaks is what in the world are we going to get content wise for sbcs or for objectives we've got this naki williams it is leaked now remember last friday we didn't have that exciting of an sbc we had the burgeis sbc which isn't a terrible sbc but it wasn't fantastic so watch out for more leaks or maybe this is the guy we're gonna have as our sbc content today we will have to see the other thing that we have at the moment is a new card design for showdown cards and this is not a leak this is just to show the card designs there have been two that have been added to the code the one on the left of your screen is the regular base showdown version and then of course the one on the right with the red is the world C world cup showdown plus so like the player that gets upgraded from the showdown that's the differentiation in the card designs i think that red card looks really really sick so as you may have seen, this card design was officially added to the code a couple of hours ago. So there's potential that there could be a showdown SBC either today on Friday or maybe at some point during the weekend as well. Or maybe even an objective, right? We don't really know what's going to happen for objective or for SBC content today. That's where our biggest questions are right now. Again, watch for more leaks heading into today's content now also today of course we're going to have cards and packs sbcs and objectives related to path to glory we expect we're also going to have brand new world cup heroes that will be in packs today of course the heroes that we have in packs right now if you take a look at the loading screen and all the information that ea have set out so far these cards like alawa rian park ji sung lucio um yaya Toure, these guys are going out of packs today they will no longer be supplied it's just like a promo team right these cards were in packs for a certain amount of time they're going back out of packs and the base version of these cards will be back in so the base hero of alawarian yaya Toure, park ji sung you get it right those are going to be back in packs today but there will be new foot heroes world cup versions that will be in packs right we only have about half of this team that's been released right you have not seen brawlin or um 
Marquisio or Okocha or Smolarek, right? Those are some of the biggest names. Govu. These guys are not on the market yet. Some people maybe have packed them through their pre-order pack, but these guys are going to be on the market today as a part of team number two of the Foot Heroes release. And that was, of course, stated by EA. We knew we were going to have two releases. EA said that. And also we know that uh, while they're in packs, they will replace the base Foot Hero version. And of course, that makes us believe that when these cards go out of packs, like the Team 1 is today, the base Hero Foot version will be back in packs. So like regular Yaya, regular Alawar Yan will be packable today through packs. But the World Cup versions of those will not be. So that's an exciting thing today is new heroes will be added onto the game. It's kind of like having two promo teams on one Friday. So that part of it is really, really hype. And of course, there's a lot of questions around the market. What's going to happen to these guys that are going out of packs? Are they going to continue to go up or will they go down because people will be hyped to try the new heroes? We're going to talk about that in just a second. But when we speak about the market, there is a really big impact to the market today based on what EA Sports or potential impact to the market today, based on what EA Sports drop in objectives. Right now, as you may know, we have 14 tokens available for the World Cup Swaps program through these milestones, through the showcase, through the World Cup Swaps. We had eight nations in this week one, right? Week one of the FIFA World Cup Swaps objective. It's out for 35 days. This is not expiring today. If you haven't done this, there's no hurry. But we had eight nations that were kind of dropped in here with eight different rewards today i think it is very possible that ea could drop more tokens potentially eight more tokens if they were going to release another set of the eight nations that could have been inside this maybe week two right another objective for some more swaps tokens if that is today what that will mean is right now there are 14 swap tokens available Plus eight would take us to 22 potential swap tokens that you could get, which would push us over the border of being able to pack and to redeem rather the 84 times 20 times three or the 84 times 60 pack. Now, if we get eight tokens today, then people will be able to open this pack as soon as later today. As people go out and play those golden goal games and get those tokens done, they will be able to open the 84 times 20s. And what's going to happen when people do that? Well, number one, they're going to be packing promo cards. They're going to be packing the new World Cup heroes that are in packs. Yes, they'll be untradeable. But what a lot of people are going to be getting are a lot of 84s, 85s, 86s, and SBC fodder. So... What that means for me is if you open it 84 times, think about it logically, right? If you open it 84 times 20 today, what, what's that going to make you do? Oh man, I have some fodder now. I should go do an SBC. I don't want to quick sell this fodder, right? So what SBC can you go and do? You've got Franck Ribéry. You got a base icon upgrade that is still here that maybe people have not done. You've got a David Silva. You got a couple brand new player of the month. You still have a Robbie Keane card that a lot of people are looking to do. Uh, player of the month Messi is expiring, but I don't know if many would do that. Same thing with Ansu Fati, but maybe with the new meta they will. But specifically Robbie Keane and Ribery and the icon upgrade. I think there will be an increased demand for fodder later into this weekend. Again, I'm not saying that people are going to be able to go and get eight swap tokens like this. It's going to take a couple hours today on Friday. So what we could see, and this is where we're going to transition and talk about market a little bit. What we could see today is an increased demand for SBC fodder later in the weekend. And if fodder drops enough today, it could be a really, really good time to invest. But what type of fodder would we be looking for? Well, if the, if the 84 times 20 is giving out, of course, a lot of 84s, 85s, some 86s, people will have plenty of that. What they won't have is the higher rated stuff, the 88s all the way up to the 91s, which you might be like, Nate, these guys are still so expensive. Why would I buy them right now? That's what we're waiting for today for because with pack supply, with promo packs in the store, these cards could still drop today and into the evening. You know, 88s are 26,000 coins, right? These guys are up. Kalor Navas, 26K. What were these guys last week? 20,000 coins. If they drop even down to like 23, 22 or 23K for these 88s, I think there's going to be so much demand later on in the weekend as we maybe have more SBCs that drop. And of course, people getting these fodder packs as EA should hopefully drop more tokens. I think that fodder this weekend on the higher tier, 87s and above, is a really good look if the prices drop off, right? If, if 89 stay up here at 37,000 coins, I mean, they're almost near their max price anyway. 
I, I would not try to buy these cards unless they go down at least some. Like if the 89s go to like 33K, you know, that might be a decent place to start to look at some of them. I don't expect to see fodder prices as low as they were last weekend because in general, there is not as much saved up pack supply that is waiting to be opened today. We had, a, of course, people have been opening packs all week long. People have not been saving packs or very few have been uh, because, you know, there's been great special cards that are in packs. So, yes, will Benzema drop down to 40K? I doubt it, right? That where he was last weekend. It's not going to be as obvious, right, as last weekend was for a great fodder buy. But if you see Benzema at 50K, Again, with Robbie Keane out, with the Icon, and with Ribéry and more SBCs coming, I think that's a good buy. So you're not going to see stupid low prices on fodder, but if you see big enough drop-offs, get on the bids, get on the snipes during the lightning rounds, or maybe not even lightning rounds, but during the promo pack supply today, and maybe into the evening, Friday night into Saturday, we're going to watch this very, very closely because if EA drop enough tokens, which I think is very, very possible that they will drop eight tokens today, maybe even more, people are going to be able to attain this 84 times 20, and that's going to make people want to go and do SBCs because they will have fodder at their disposal. That's just something to think about. Let's talk about the rest of the market, though. What's going to be happening today? Because a lot of people with new PTGs coming in with new foot hero cards are still wondering, Nate, are the path of glories going to rise up out of packs? And, and these guys, they are up, right? I mean, they're kind of chilling from where they were yesterday on Thursday, but a lot of these cards were low-ish around the Rivals Rewards time frame, and they started to go up since then. Griezmann was like 520. He's now 560. Um, you know, so there's a couple cards that are down, but that's because of some, just some circumstances that are outside of the game control, right? Koulibaly's card is down right now because Mane was confirmed to be not playing in the World Cup. And of course, that would, as a nation hurt Senegal's chances because your number one player is going down with an injury and not being able to play that does not bode well for their success in the world cup right so since this is the, this card is live and upgrades based on their success it dropped a little bit yesterday but most of these path to glory price uh, are holding pretty well and a lot of people are invested in hoping that these will go up today and here's the thing the leaks that we saw for team Number two, right? Royce, Milinkovic, Savage, Carrasco, and Kunku is hype. You know, there's a chunk of pretty hype cards that are in here. But as I look at this team right now, and I compare it to team number one, I think team number one is maybe a little bit more hyped. I think there's players in here that are exciting to use with the big upgrades that they got. And that's why, you know, if these players that are released today are these exact ones that we have leaked and there's nothing else crazy that's coming out in terms of players uh, for Path to Glory, then I think that bodes well for these cards rising up further um, because the hype for today's content and the new players are just not as great, right? And it's not like people have saved up packs that they're going to open out today for the Team 2 players. So these guys might come onto the market a little bit more expensive than the Team 1s did last week. That's a market movement that will probably be different, right? Remember, these cards were all stupid cheap first hour. Like Griezmann was 300k in the first hour. De Young was like 400,000 coins. Koulibaly was like 260. Um, Carvel Hall was like 80k in the first hour last Friday. That's not going to happen this week with Team and uh, Team Two because there's not as many saved up packs. Unless EA does a preview pack in the store, which they haven't done all year yet, or if they do something absolutely ridiculous with like lightning rounds or something. Uh, I don't expect these guys to be as cheap right off the bat like the Team 1 was last week. And if the content in general, if the SBC is not good, if the objective player is not that good, people might not be as excited for it. And that would help the market rise on a lot of these cards and a lot of the World Cup heroes that are going out of packs. So that kind of begs the question, are we going to see panic selling today? I think that since we, will, we should be getting a decent amount of leaks today, the hype... I guess the hype meter or how hype people um, see the leaks and kind of, you know, what they think of them is really what's going to determine how much panic selling you see today. If there is panic selling, I think it would be a decently op good opportunity to get involved. Again, panic selling on the out of packs cards, on the specials, maybe like a road to the knockouts player that is hyped, an out of positions player that is hyped, a rule breakers player if you want it for your team. If there's panic selling there, that's the kind of stuff that I would watch. I'd be very careful with the gold cards, guys. Again, and we say it every single week, but I'd be very careful with gold cards because when there is supply coming onto the game, 
game like today on a Friday, you know, I do think that those cards could drop, especially the lower rated ones. And of course, as you think about what is going to be moving on the market today, you have to think about the new meta, right? Of course, people right now are getting so excited about the explosive and controlled players and less excited about the lengthy players. So I would say if you're going to try to trade with stuff today and try to make some coins on the market, Try to make sure that you're sticking with those players that are in the meta and that are hyped as people are going out to play the most uh, competitive game mode this weekend, put champions. So um, I would absolutely say there's going to be some market movement today. Watch your rare cards, watch your fluctuations. If you like risky trading with brand new promo cards, there are some nice players that are in, in this promo team, right? Again, Walker is going to be literally the best right back in the game. Um, Pulisic with pace, this Lozano with pace, Carrasco with pace, and Kunku is going to be probably the most expensive PTG card that we have, um, depending on what his upgrade looks like. Royce Milinkovic Savage, plenty of options in here to trade with today. There is going to be some hype, but I just wonder if it's going to be a little bit less than Team 1 based off of how things look. So I'm going to be watching specifically for some panic today. Um, and of course, you're going to expect a lot of supply from what is in packs. Now, uh, you know, the past day or so has been decent for making coins. Just really quickly, I bought an Alawarian at 630. He's probably going higher, but I sold him at 685 yesterday before marquee matchups. I got a crazy lazy on the Salah, listed him for the price of the 92, sold it there. So that was a W. Traded with some team of the week stuff. Now I have some coin losses in here too, right? I bought this for 340 or 330. And his price just kept going down. So I sold that, but we made it back, right? I bought this Drogba for 265, sold it for 317. And we've been making a good amount of coins. The cards that I bought yesterday before Rivals Rewards made some coins with those. Um, and we're making some good quick flips. And I, stu I still do have a couple PTG cards, right? I've got Carvajal, I've got Araujo, kind of listing them for lazies, hoping to get a crazy sale and just hopefully seeing their prices rise up a little bit today. But I would say that if the content seems to be quiet today and it doesn't seem to be that hype, the PTG cards, the most rare ones that people would want to go and invest their coins into are gonna be the ones that rise up the most and the fastest because these are live cards, they're going out of packs and people think they're gonna upgrade and they want to invest. So that bodes well for these cards today, but we're just gonna have to see how it goes and how EA do with the content released today. Again, any super crazy questions that we have related to the store with the packs, I don't expect anything absolutely nuts today, um, but we'll have to see. I've got 36 saved up player picks for today, just because of how good the 80 plus uh, packs were last week. I said, I said, you know what? Pulisic is gonna be in packs today. I'm going to get myself an opportunity to get something sweet from those. So that's why I've saved those up. But I'm probably going to roll into content today with my coins pretty liquid. Um, and if I see a lot of panic selling into today, then maybe we'll get involved. We'll just have to see. Uh, but again, you guys know what we like to trade on Fridays. It's the rare stuff. It's the stuff that people are going to go back out and buy for their weekend league teams after they see whatever content is dropped today on this game. So again, really unsure about the SBC content today. Is it going to be a showdown? Is it going to be a Naki Williams? Is it going to be something else? There might even be some leaks by the time you watch this video to see what that is happening and what's happening there. And again, I really feel like the World Cup swaps is a massive part of the promo today as well is what is EA going to do for week two of this? Are they going to give us some opportunities to grind swap some more? What's going to be in here? Are there going to be packs available in here as well? So those are the two biggest areas in packs. Um, actually SBCs and objectives are just huge, huge, huge for me today. Uh, the impact stuff, you know, saved up player picks or maybe a couple saved up packs that some people may have is cool. Uh, but I really think I'm going to watch the meta market today and try to make some coins on those cards and the brand new cards that come out because there'll be demand for them. Um, but it's going to be a completely different market than what it was last week. So again, it's all dependent upon the panic selling and again the coolness or the hype around the leaks that we see today will probably determine how much panic selling that we have so it's going to be an interesting friday we're going to be live streaming it all on twitch that link is down below in the description if you want to be there and check it out we're going to try to make some coins we will make some coins and maybe ea's got some sort of madness planned for today who knows but that is going to be the video for today again check that link down below in the description i'll see you in the twitch stream today if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out